Hey guys, just a quick update, just a little vlog action recommended my, by my buddy Christopher John Blackerby, thinking that I should get more things uh, documented on film and whatnot. So here I am, it's Sunday morning, I think it's August 20th, I'm not sure, somewhere around there, the 19th, uh, did I say August, I meant December, anyway, um, 2021, just getting done with a weekend of shows in... Tucson, Arizona at Laughs Comedy Club. I was featuring all weekend four shows. The headliner was Alex Duong. And I wanna give a shout out to Laughs Comedy Club for giving me the opportunity. It was freaking awesome. I feel like I leveled up this weekend because um, Saturday night, the shows were so hot. The third show of the weekend, AKA the first show last night, Saturday night, was so fire and hot that uh, you could feel the singe, you know? You could feel uh, just, just uh, the, 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 every single comedian that was on the lineup destroyed, including thine self. Um, the, the MC drove in from LA, uh, he's five years in, he tore it up. The next girl who got up, she's a, she's a regular at the comedy store now, and she's 10 years in. She got passed at the comedy store this year. Um, she went up, destroyed. I went up, she did like 15 minutes. I went up and did like 25 minutes and uh, left everyone very metaphorically wet, if you know what I mean, very aroused. We were spiritually connected. We we definitely had uh, a, a spiritual orgy uh, with, with humor and it was amazing. Uh, we had a, a, it was just, it was so cool. And then Alex got up after me, destroyed, and he taped the set for us. He taped the set for me. So now I'm going to have uh, a new leveled up tape of longer time with more current material with my more current, like, uh, skill set honed or, or, you know, like my current cross section in time, by the way, if anyone wants a, you, anybody horny bracelet, feel free to hit me up. Selling for five bucks. Made some money on merch. One girl just walked up to me after that first show and said, do you have a Venmo? And just sent me a bunch of money. Uh, and then left, and she was beautiful. I was like, what? Uh, I, you single or what? LDR? Come on, you know, let's hang out. Well, slide into that DM, son. Uh, but uh, great times, so much fun. Ale you know what's crazy is how things come back around sometimes. When I saw that Alex Duong was the headliner, I remember that I knew him because I met him 10 years ago at the Comedy Store in LA. And by the way, he's also passed at the Comedy Store. And I met him at the Comedy Store. We did like a bringer show or something back then. You know, I was only a couple years in at the time, five years in, I guess. And he was just, uh, he was very nice. He, 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 he told me that I had a great set and that he wanted to, you know, to send him a question if I had any questions about anything. He gave me a little guidance and we were like reading our old messages uh, over the weekend and we were able to just sync up and kind of become friends. And uh, and it was really cool to see because he was nice. He was he was he was helpful and, and, you know, gave me kind of he said, use the information wisely, young Padawan. And I didn't even know what the reference meant back then. But uh, that's exactly what I was, was a young Padawan training to be a, a comedic Jedi. And um, I would say that I've gotten to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm like a first degree black belt in comedy at this point. And there's like multiple degrees. Um, so I'm, I'm working for that second degree black belt now, you know, and, and that's just a self, that's my own evaluation of where I am at the moment. But I would say I'm probably a first degree black belt in stand up. And, um, you know, not to toot my own horn, but really cool to reconnect, to see the positivity, to see him successful. You know, being a good person uh, leads to a great foundation for success and, and trying to treat people with respect. And I think when you see those little, you know, an example of, of Alex being kind to me. When I first moved to L.A., he's older than I am. I think he's he's been in it longer than I am. And I don't know what his affiliation with the store was at the time, the comedy store, but he's doing big things now. And anyway... Uh, this video is almost five minutes and I just want to say it's beautiful and um, last time I was in Tucson was five years ago for my goddaughter's graduation Genevieve Gabriella 
and um, and it was uh, it was crazy because it was actually on this on this day five years ago yesterday. So life's crazy. Now I'm gonna go spend Christmas with my family, and I'm gonna go uh, work at Dave and Buster's today for the football game. So. Um, Thank you all for your support. So uh, you know, ooh. you know when 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 people come up to me after the show and thank me or thank us as comedians, it's always gratifying to see the look in their eyes when they had a good time. It always means a lot. And what they don't realize is that it takes two. We have a symbiotic relationship. So really, I can't give that, I can't be that, I can't do that stuff on stage without the audience there to listen and appreciate it and to give a shit. So, um, thank you all for being that and, and just, you know, like like the Hunger Games sponsors. I feel like there's just people that kind of show up and, and help me along the way in different ways. My sister let me borrow my car and taking it to LA my family for, for a thousand things, you know, all the pit stops that people let me be assisted in and metaphorically and literally on, on my journeys. Um, you know, I don't think anyone is anything without anyone <laughs> as, as silly as that may sound, but I'm living my dream. I'm not only am I doing it, I'm pursuing, you know, newer and higher levels of it life is definitely a journey so it's it's we all know it. it's not about the destination but to feel that lift under the wings and that push from all the hard work and and people um and to, to to be able to get on stage and just just execute humor just manufactured alchemized humor over the years is um is i am very thankful for that and uh and, and, I, and I couldn't do it, with it without everybody's support that has helped me. So thank you. I love you. God bless. And have a freaking awesome Sabbath. If, if you celebrate the Sabbath on Sundays. Super Bowl Sabbath. NFL Sabbath today. About to go uh, go celebrate here. Some, some football. Dave and Buster. So happy holidays.